Hi Sagittarius. It's L here to do your April 2020 general reading. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every Sag. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Okay. Alright, so Sag, let's see what's going on with you. Oh, I forgot to pull the shells like I did for all the other signs. Let's see. What's going on for Sagittarius? Going on for Sagittarius. Okay. So sad. We have lack. Okay. We have mom. We have crazy. And we have career. Alright. So your mom can be significant in your life. Or something could be going on with your mom. You can feel as if she's a little bit wacky, a little crazy. Your career. You're wondering how things will turn out for you. Everybody is, especially in this climate here, in regards to their career. There is lack here. It could be lack of money, lack of energy, time, health, anything. But there is um, ch shift your energy, shift your mindset, a rest in positivity. Okay. All right. So let's see what the cards have to say for Sagittarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Sagittarius with the message of clarity. Okay. We have to tell Sagittarius. Uh, the Justice card, Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Five of Swords. Okay. So someone is not happy about some newness that's happening in your life. Things are changing for you all together, all around. Justice here, meaning that uh, you could there could be repayment of debt um, or, or your karma is just wiped clean. It's now balanced. You could be go, having something to go on with the legal system here, but it looks like it goes in your favor. Looks like there's jealousy surrounding you in a connection. You're trying to have peace and tranquility in, in your life. You may even be traveling somewhere or you do a lot of traveling. Um, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Scorpio, Libra who is uh, jealous of some new love, new existence, new business, new engagement that you have here with someone. Uh, there's inter someone's trying to interject or interfere in the relationship, in the love affair. They're trying to cause drama. Um, their behavior may be, may come off a bit childish. Toxic. It's what they've done for a very long time. You could be having problems. You've always had problems with this person. You could even be having money issues, but you're trying to persevere in that. You're trying to move forward, have some some real connection here. Um Some of you are 100% stuck on um, maybe a Piscean person or someone, a Virgo, Taurus, Libra person. You can't get over them. You don't want to get over them. Um, you think about them all the time. You're having a lot of, um, you're trying to establish something with maybe the mother of your children. There's going to be an opportunity for you to talk to this person. You could have felt stuck or blocked. There's going to be an opportunity for you to reconcile. Or celebrate here. But something comes back up here. Someone hasn't let it go. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It plagues them. It plagues the relationship. There's also somebody outside of the relationship looking in and they, they want what you have. 
you could also be doing this Sagittarius to someone else. Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. You could be wanting the relationship back. Maybe with an Emperor, Aries, Taurus. Doesn't have to be. You want them to make a choice to decide. Because right now they're divided. You want them to be definitive in their choice. You want to be chosen. And you're hoping and praying that you are. They may be giving a lot of energy effort to something or someone else. Or this is you, Sag. Let's get the best advice for Sagittarius. Two of fire. You're at a crossroads. You're going to have to choose. Are you in or out? Are you going to continuously deal with this person? The high priestess, the chariot, the three of water. You definitely, the three of, or if you want to, you got some deep feelings for this particular person. Could be Piscean, Aquarius. You have two minds about this, about going back to them. You guys are separated. Could be Cancer, Cancer male. Could be female also. You're wanting to give them a message. Either are they in or out? Are they still giving to two people? You may not get what you want here. They may have someone new or you have someone new and you're telling them this. Yeah. It looks like something is coming to a head, to an end. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get additional advice for Sagittarius. Success. If you believe big happy changes, very nice. Unlikely, and there's something better in the near future. You have a yes answer. Okay. So we clarify our yes answer. What is this yes answer for Sag? What's this yes answer for Sagittarius? You have an offer of love. Someone wanted to extend their heart, their emotions. Maybe you pray for this. Are you going to have better health come into you? Um, maybe even better money in your business. Yeah, you could have a large sum of money come in. Something, someone, something comes in in a cycle. Like it continuously comes in. You're going to have opportunity to celebrate. You got some wish fulfilled here. And you stuck to your guns in regards to maybe Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You're going to have some newness here. Possibly with somebody else. This other person. They're stuck on. Or, yeah, they could be on to something else or someone else. Uh, that could be Cancer or Pisces. Okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you. If you feel like it resonated with you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Um, you can also text a question below to the number below. Um, are they stuck on me? Do they want me back? Should I contact them? Will they come back? Questions like that, okay? Send your question to the number below. Pay for your question on your mobile device and receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Thank you, Sagittarius. Take care. Many blessings to you.